Hi everyone, this is Dan, and this is uh, Josh Howard's T-Bird in Throttle, uh, being provided by Alterna. This is an Alterna Giants, so uh, it's 80 pages for $4.99, which is a pretty sweet deal. Uh, so I've done Alterna comics on my channel before. I did the uh, unboxing for the 30-issue, uh, uh, first issues package. Uh, also did a review on Gods and Gears. Uh, so this series, when it was first announced to going to Alterna, it caught my eye. Uh, mainly because the art style is uh, really cool. It reminds me of uh, Batman, uh, the animated series, and it's uh, also that it was an Alterna Giants, which meant that uh, the first purchase I would buy from this book would be a big chunk of story, and uh, this did not disappoint. Uh, this was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, Alterna Comics, for those of you who don't know, uh, they are a independent publisher run by the uh, very likable Peter Semetti. Uh, they're famous for using, uh, for still printing on newsprint and also for uh, having very affordable prices. Their issues are typically, uh, uh, they used to be 150 now they're 199 uh, He had to increase it because of inflation. Uh, but their Alterna Giants, which are massive 80 page floppies, uh, or sometimes even 100 page floppies, uh, they go for 499 so they're pretty freaking awesome. Uh, but anyway, here's the opening cover. Fantastic. Right here, you got a slash line right here. You know, was, then, right? And you're going to have a lot of that sort of uh, storytelling in this particular issue. So uh, the opening for T-Bird and Throttle essentially kind of sets the premise of who uh, T-Bird is. Uh, he was kind of a sort of a astronaut uh, explorer uh, for the government, or I guess Starlink, uh, the organization uh, that does uh, exploration in space. Kind of like a SpaceX. <laughs> so uh, he got shot through the chest, but uh, this uh, device called the engine uh, suddenly fused with him and uh, revived him, and he became sort of a superhero. And his sidekick was uh, this uh, redhead flame uh, named Throttle. Uh, by the way, his name is T Bird's name is Mitch Maddox, and Throttle's name is uh, Amy Sparks, I think. Uh, but yeah, so we go through today, you know, he's married, has kids, all this other stuff. And then suddenly it cracks and it goes into, uh, you know, modern days where he's at right now. There he is. He's in his like sort of work area. All of his uh, memorabilia from the past is all trashed and he's in the darkness uh, freaking out. Uh, there's a lot of similarities to uh, The Incredibles. I'm not saying it copies it, but uh, sort of that feeling of, you know, was and then uh, between like a superhero who's uh, kind of uh, gotten older and, and past his prime. Uh, in a world that doesn't necessarily really like him, though uh, there's still superheroes in this world, unlike the Incredibles. Uh, but yeah, you get some dark stuff here and there, and here he is now, uh, much older with a daughter, uh, trying to grow up. And what's interesting about this book is it's constantly going back between, you know, what happened in, in his golden era and then what's where he's at right now. And you're kind of thinking about like, oh, this is a very nihilistic book, you know, subversion of expectations. Not necessarily. Uh, the the way this is shown right here is that uh, he's not a perfect man, uh, T-Bird, uh, but he is not, you know, some sort of Garth Ennis uh, type of hero. He really is a, uh, uh, at least in this first issue, uh, he's, he's generally trying to do the right thing. He's just kind of uh, bummed out with the world kind of beating him down and whatnot. Uh, so here he, he gets this femme fatale that tricks him to come back to Starlink. <laughs> and then you get some flashbacks of his time at Starlink. Uh, it's pretty cool like that. Clarence must go T-Burn Throttle. And then he sees this. This is kind of like a, a hack job uh, a comic book, The Untold Story, where they basically, <laughs> you can see his uh, reaction here, uh, basically people trying to assassinate him and cancel him. Uh, a lot of callbacks to current uh, issues, uh, or uh, issues of the day, I guess, even though this was technically created in 2020. I like the art style. It's like so, uh, it's cartoony, but it's expressive and attractive. Uh, much like uh, Batman the Animated Series when I was growing up. Yeah, I like this stuff a lot. Going back and forth. I think the one thing that is, uh, I will say that I hope the next issue is like, I hope the next issue is more, you know, less flashbacks and more moving forward with the story. Uh, but otherwise, this is like some good stuff. So I'm going to jump ahead real here. Uh, just to be fair and uh, hopefully convince some of you to go pick this up. It's only $4.99, so it's a, it's a great deal. Uh, but yeah, this is her daughter's kind of bummed out because she read the uh, the issue right here. And then uh, going back and forth fighting. And then he gets uh, reunited with uh, with Throttle, his old partner, who is now a cop. Whereas he's kind of a you know struggling dad. 
And then uh, the back up, uh, so that was about the main story, which is about 48 pages or so, maybe 50 something. Then you get like the T-Bird uh, unexposed untold story, just the sort of uh, the issue that he was uh, reading. You get, uh, you know, Gruesome, uh, the villain that gets introduced at the end. Then you even get this uh, issue zero prequel, which kind of shows off uh, uh, what, uh, t what it was like with uh, T-Bird and Throttle working together and being heroes. And sort of the uh, the cracks in uh, T Bird's life uh, as he was kind of <laughs> working as a hero. I'm kind of moving pretty fast here because uh, I do want to convince you uh, who are watching it to actually pick this up. Very very affordable for 80 pages. Uh, this is honestly this is what comic books should be going towards with the 4.99 being the standard price that a lot of uh, comic books seem to be going to. They should be going for longer, right? Yeah, for 4.99 you should be getting like. 48 to 80 pages personally that's my opinion uh, i know that's not popular amongst a lot of people but you got to remember like uh most kids in the new generation nowadays they're buying manga and a manga book is like uh, do i have one on me right now oh, i don't it, it's like 180 pages you know perfect bound uh you know with a ton of with a ton of story and content in it and yes manga is only black and white and they are smaller but still you know the expectation uh, for the newer consumer is more pages for the price, right? So, you know, I, I mean, I love the original floppy, but uh, hey, this is this right here, the Alternate Giants line is freaking awesome. I mean, I hope this is selling well for Peterson many because this stuff is is freaking great. Uh, nothing against the the you know humble 24 page floppy, but yeah, big old chunk magazines right here. You know what's crazy about this? The newsprint, uh, despite the page count makes this still very light and, and usable. It's it's not as light as like a, uh, you know, uh, 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 like the old school floppies, uh, but it's still very, very uh, nice on the hands. And uh, these, uh, these larger size uh, saddle stitch books are just kind of a joy to go through. I don't know, man, like if I was ever gonna do a book or hopefully I, I do my own book I think I'm gonna aim for this like 64 to 80 pages on newsprint uh, saddle stitched there's just something nice in the hands about it and the weight also makes it attractive for shipping right uh, because you want to stay under a pound when you're uh, shipping out uh, anything in order to get uh, you know reasonable rates from uh, United States Postal Service <laughs> anyhow uh, basically final words right here uh, totally recommend it uh, very enjoyable uh, not exactly a complete story, uh, but considering how much, you know, beautiful art, 80 pages and content that I got for $4.99, uh, you know, I'm not uh, angry about that, right? And it looks like this is a giant sized four issue limited series. So you only technically need to pay uh, $20 for the entire story, uh, which is still underneath a lot of crowdfunding comic books. And assuming he stays on like an, a 64 to 80 page rate, uh, you're easily gonna get like 200 something pages for this for this run. So uh, you know, a lot of content for 20 bucks right there. And of course, oh man, oh god, yeah, I love newsprint. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the review. Let me know what you think. If you like this uh, uh, video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. If you got any comments on T Bird and Throttle uh, or this review? Leave it down below, and I will see you next time.